Hey guys, it's Dino. Today we'll be doing episode 6 of the Terraria tutorial series. Today we'll be covering the Crimson boss and getting our next set of tools and armor. Alright, so I'm coming back to the Crimson to fight our Crimson boss. This is a boss rush game, so you will expect to fight, be fighting a lot of bosses. Um, because my world generation is so terrible, ow, um, I'm gonna start creating my own tunnels here. Ugh, this takes so long. You know, I've always wondered what caused the developers to create these two evils. Like, what were they thinking in their mind when they came up with this biome? Did they just look at an x-ray scan of someone's body and be like, ah oh, yes, the perfect biome for a fantasy world. Someone's organs and their insides. And then the corruption over here is like, ah, I like purple. Purple is cool. <laughs> it's like, so, I'm just curious. Nothing against the developers, I'm just curious. Uh, I don't want to get too close to that dungeon where I'll get slaughtered by a floating skull again. God, this place is infested with spiders. It's like every Arizonian home. Alright, so... These red hearts here is what we're gonna need to destroy. And I don't remember if bombs could destroy it or not. Got a little Eskimo hood. Nice. Didn't get that unlock for some reason. You get those from killing uh, the snow zombies over in the ice biome. If you're wondering how to get that cosmetic. I'm just gonna throw bombs, see if that works. That works, all right. So I didn't know that, but bombs work on those hearts. I wonder if they work on the shadow orbs and the corruption too. Weird. Alright, so Undertaker is one of the weapons that will drop from the crimson um, hearts, which you gotta destroy three of these hearts to summon the boss. So luckily I got two more down in the right, just unlocking. There's a few other things that will come from these hearts, hopefully I get them. Two more. I got another pistol. Come on, give me something good. All right, boss is summoned and another pistol, wow. All right. So the first thing you wanna do is kill these creepers. Yeah, they're called creepers. Um, at least they're not annoying and blow up your houses constantly. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Minecraft. Alright, so he's not that hard. Well, he's a little bit more difficult if you have terrible vision and you can't see something fading and reappearing on a different side of the screen. Once you get to half health and you kill all the creepers, he just charges you and gets all angry. He's pretty much a respite of Ike Thula at this point, and he'll die pretty quickly. So after you kill him, the special thing you'll get out of him is uh, vertebrae, Crimson Ore, which you already get from Aya Cthulhu in the Crimson World. If you, um, and tissue samples are what you're going to need to make the tools and the armor. So I'm going to look around just... Okay, three more hearts. Could just farm them. That'd be good. So uh, I'm going to probably head back now at this point. i got the tools I need. One of the materials I need. Get an unlimited supply of them because I'm a hacker. Yep, no, I'm kidding. I'm not a hacker. Please don't. Please don't get mad at me. I'm not a hacker. I swear. I'm using journey mode. It's definitely not hacking. It's just creative and survival in one. Um. Uh. So for the corruption, you get the demonic ore and the demon scales. Demon scales, I believe, are dropped by the Eater Worlds, which is the corruption worm. And the demonic ore is dropped by the Icthulhu if you're in a corruption world. So Icthulhu, oh, it's shadow scale. That's right, not demon scale. So um, yeah, Icthulhu drops different ores depending on what evil you have. The Crimtain ore for crimson, and the demonite ore for um corruption. So now that you got your tissue samples and Crimtain ore, you can make the Crimtain. Well, you can already make the crimson bar. 
but you'll need the tissue samples to make the tools. And same goes for the demonite ore. So let me just grab this stuff real quick. Now I'll skip a bit of footage. So, um, with the demonite ore in the shadow scales, you can make both the pickaxe and hammer for that biome. And with the tissue sample and crimtain ore, you can make the armor and the tools there too. Pretty straightforward. Um, if you're wondering where I'm making these, they're being made at the anvil. You go cling cling, and then boom, and then yeah, you have your tools. That I don't, I can't really be clever with this. I'm not that good at that. One last neat thing. Um, after you defeat the evil boss, there is a chance of a meteorite landing. I think the first time it'll land like automatically. Um, after that, it's just kind of random. Thankfully, mine spawned like just to the right of the base. So it spawns these little meteor heads, and when you step on these bricks, they'll set you on fire. So um, you just gotta be careful with that. I have special boots to stop me from just burning alive. Um, so I'm not screaming in pain and terror and just crying. But yeah, so you mine up this meteorite. This is a quick uh, way to just get a better axe and hammer. It pretty much mixes both tools into one called the ham axe. Yes, a ham plus axe. Ham axe. Oh, I technically it's a hammer and an axe, but you know, they call it ham axe. So I'm just assuming it's like that baloney stuff. The hammer and the axe. It's just a ham axe. So, um, go to the furnace. Once you have enough meteorites, uh, meteorite ore, you can make the bars. And then you can craft the tools over at the anvil. You'll get the ham axe. Yes, that's correct. The ham axe. I got a godly ham axe. Imagine ham being godly. It's an insane um, the armor is crappier, so I wouldn't recommend using it unless you want it as vanity. Just look like a spaceman, a space ranger. Um, and the gun sucks. It, it's just not better than the weapons you have for the crimson. I don't know why they make this meteorite spawn after, but whatever. So for the people who do want to start using magic weapons, I might as well show you this now, because there will be more magic weapons showing up later on. Um, especially that space gun you get too, it uses mana. So you want to wait till it's nighttime for falling stars to show up. They're like these glowing white, I mean not white, yellow stars that come down. And uh, a little neat detail, lanterns, they show up every time you beat a boss for the first time, like the night after. So. Hopefully, once you get enough um, falling stars. I literally got one after sitting for an hour out here. So I decided to give up, just like every Call of Duty player after Modern Warfare 2 came out. And I don't want to search anymore. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna go make them. Um, I'm just gonna pull it out of my inventory here. Because I already have them unlocked. I'm not going to wait to show you guys how to get them. You search the night and they fall from the sky. It's not that hard to find. Um, so you go to the furnace and you scorch them. And uh, you can only go to a max of 20. And um, after you do so, you will have, I believe, up to 200 mana. You can have more mana with accessories and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. This was Dino, and this was episode 6 of Terraria Tutorials. Next up is the jungle. <laughs>